What's up, y'all? SCS back with another one on a dump. So we did a test drive, what, two days ago? Ended up been sitting in the garage. So far, so good, man. I ain't even disconnect the battery because that's what I was doing. They were like, yeah, you don't have to go through the wire. Make sure you disconnect the battery every day. You never know. But uh, it's good. I had to change the fuel cap. Because, when, man, I'm telling y'all, when I was just on the gas, you could literally smell the fuel coming out the car. So I don't know uh, if this rubber seal was bad or what. But I just took it off and took it off that the one I got a uh, cap for, for that new tank. On here is the charging system. And my side pieces I was talking about that I made, and I covered up, and I didn't want them to fall out. They both fell out. As soon as I did that first test drive in the day, they both fell out. So I might have to put some magnets on it, but it's cool. I'll just do that. That's quick work. I just didn't want to use magnets, because I use them for paying customers, and I ain't no paying customer. So this is the charging system, charging wire for the battery in the back. I'm pulling up on Jay Malcolm. That's why I really record, because I've been in this garage and trying to learn these machines every day, all day. So for those who know and do stuff like that, you know, when you get to that point, you like, I got to leave this stuff alone. And I'm at that point because like I said, I'm starting from nothing. So every day it's like, what can you do new? What can you do cold? What can you, you know what I'm saying? So it get real, it get real, it get real. Heck, sometimes so this is charging system cable like I, I went through all this uh, probably when it get cold I'm gonna redo it but not no time soon but we got the ground straps and all that stuff that I showed y'all but this green cable charged the battery in the back so eventually this is like a four gauge charging cable we're gonna upgrade that to zero run to the battery and then you know what, Andy, I do that, because this charge in the car. So I just run that zero here. But like I said, I want to run two runs, because I'm running over 3,000 watts. So. And I'm going to get some banging in today. I ain't got the fan with me. I got to find out a way to record it, though. Because my, my shot phone just broke, man. Let's see what we get. And it's gonna be ugly doing it like that too. So let me see how I can do this real quick. Running it down and around. I'm just trying to trying to see how I can make this look clean with the look time I got. So down. I ain't <laughs> Only tie, only, only, only uh place I can bolt it from what I see is <laughs> on the uh, stabilizer ball. I don't see where I could, where I could mount it at down here. On the LS, it's easy to run a wire under the motor. But I ain't got no mounting point down there to like secure it. Hook it up. Hook it up. That thing gonna get caught up in the wind. Burn up. And then from here to here, this is the first fuse in the in the, in the charging system. So yeah, that ain't gonna work. I think I think I might have to run the power on this side. Because the way the alternate is, and the way the, the motor set up, I don't want no wire running across the motor. But I'm, I'm still looking and coming up with something real quick. I cut the camera off. I gotta think for a little bit. Well, some came up with some fly. So uh, here, like I showed y'all, it's the four gauge charge cable on here, and it's like 
nah, this ain't thick enough for what I like. This might be some OFC, but it's soft. It's real soft. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So we're going to take that whole wire off because it's small in the first place. But this wire was charging the whole power system. Which ain't no problem. It's just not big enough for what I want. So like I said, it was a dual battery setup in here. So that wire was charging this, this battery, and then this was running off there to the battery in the trunk. So whatever wire is coming off the charging system, that's primarily your size of wire. So you got four gauge wire charging, zero gauge, trickle charging, zero gauge wire back to the battery. It's cool, but you thinking logically like this should be the same size as your biggest wire in the car to me, just to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this wire, and then uh, I might be able to just use the red power cable. So we got a strap and we got a cable on the motor. So this is the one, the cable on the motor, which we already got a cable on the motor. So this one can actually come off. But uh, shoot, I probably just cut it. I already don't like cutting stuff that I normally use. And this is a, uh, look like welding cable, pretty hard. So let me see how I'm gonna do that. And this is a ground also for the battery, just excessive grounds. Two grounds on the motor. It ain't bad, it's just excessive. Yeah, so y'all see it. So it's the same setup I showed y'all a little while ago. So I'm gonna change that. 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 Yeah, and I'm just end up running this full gauge on here. I do want to say when you do this, you want to take your power and your ground off. I just took my power cable off because that's all this red is power. I've got, got the end cut off. Now I'm just trying to get my length straight. Yeah, it should be all right. I can tie everything up. So... Rosper Foss Gate, I'm pretty sure this OFC. And you see it's 1 0. One zero. American Wire Gate. That's what AWG stands for. And stuff that you get at the flea market, don't be AWG. Four gauge outside, eight gauge inside. So let's get some. Get some connectors, and then we're gonna change the charging cable while we in there. Looking crazy. Got ring time in there. Yeah, we can put that on the end. We got some Tesla tape. Some good tape. It's already on there anyway, so I'm just making a match. I got Mitch Mallet color wires. I need a bunch of grommets, so I'm gonna have to go do a walk around the count. For the doors and the power wires. No grommet on these power wires. Dangerous. This tape is pretty cool. Tears off easy. They're not sticky like electrical tape. You know, uh, does its job to me. Some people don't like it though. I don't think it's waterproof, but I really don't know. I just need it to hold this uh, tech flex together. Got the bolt removed for this wire. I said we ain't doing no dual batteries on here. Under the hood at least. And then I'm gonna bolt this strap back to the frame. I wanna see what the ground to the frame looking like on that side. I do that. I think I came from right here. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna just tie that ground to the frame too. That'll be better. Tie that ground to the frame. So 
So I'm going to cut it and crimp it. And cut it and crimp it. Cut it about right here. And crimp it and put it on the frame. Get my four gauge. So this is... This is all that came from right there. This is it. That's that one, two, three wires. And boom, big major difference. Three wires. It's all about routing and extending it and stuff like that. I was gonna move this closer here, but I try to refrain from drilling holes and screwing holes, extra holes, because I don't know why, I just never really like drilling holes. The only hole I usually always have to drill is the hole for the firewall if it's not a hole. And then you grommet that. And then the hole for the ground if you got a bigger system to refrain. But I try to refrain from drilling holes. I do not like drilling holes in cars. But, uh, yeah, so that looks a whole lot better. That green and that red is just getting to me. So eventually, I know there's some other wiring people out there, but eventually I'm going to change. Just not right now. Um, so now I'm gonna do this charging cable real quick. Gonna do this with some some one zero welding cable, um, and then she will be done with the charging system, man. <coughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this cable off. Let me move my my cover piece. I don't want to get no oil in the paint. All this all these wires got oil on it. Some kind of oil. What about I'm about to talk to y'all a little bit because I don't ever really be talking about nothing other than what I'm working on. So it's a lot of people that be like, hey, where your cars at? So I moved here close to a year ago. Well, really a year ago, but I got this house less than a year ago. So when I first moved here, the first thing I went back and got was my tools. Then I went back and got J-Rock truck and the Tahoe. And then... Two days before I was about to go to get the Chevelle blue box and the gold box, coronavirus hit. And during that time, man, I was like, I might as well take this time to actually build my brand and grind. And that's the same time I bought that, uh, the dump. I bought this. I bought this in March. I just didn't ever show it because if it ain't here, why am I going to be sitting there taking pictures and showing something that I don't have yet, right? That's just my, my thought process. It ain't never been me to take pictures and show stuff that I don't have or that's not in my possession. So I was like, you know what? Bet, I'm gonna just do my business thing, right? And when I get my car, that's when I'm gonna come back to YouTube for real and go crazy. Because I, I'm always moving due to work. I ain't got time to do much because of work in school. But now, shoot, I can't complain now. The work schedule been all right. School, I'm off right now, which I already, I finished my degree, my associates, but I got to wait till I actually graduate, which is another, it, from, from the day I finished the class, it was two months. I'm like, dang. So that's why I got all this time to record my car. I man, I got two months off, which I ain't never had before. So, too much off for school, not work. But this is an off day for me. So, that's how I'm able to go meet with J. Mal. Small. I'm trying to find wires for this for this charge cable, and they come in small, man. We live in large in the charge. One gauge, baby. One zero, baby. Okay, 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 okay. We back, we back. My back, my phone died. I knew it was. I knew it was gonna die. I knew it. I just didn't know when. But uh, y'all tell me what y'all think, man. I got the battery charging, so we could uh come through J Malcolm with the thunder. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Tell me what y'all think. Got everything about tied together. This whole side look different. Look like a Betty was never over here. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Just some simple, some simple quick wiring stuff. 
But every time I get under here, I come up with a new idea on what I want to do. But I don't want to say it because every time I say it, somebody get mad because I don't do what I said, which I just got ideas, man. Just just ideas for now. I can't go full. I can't go full throttle on this because I'm trying to build two other cars and have one done and one running by the next summer. So one way or the other, me and my old lady coming through with two different cars and, and two kids. <laughs> and two kids, put that in there. But uh, I'm making a console for Carlos Miller. By the time this video drop, it'll be out already. But man, I was spent like four hours plus working my CNC. Never ever used CAD before. So it took me so much. I was down there getting frustrated. I ain't gonna do a lot to y'all. There was so much going on. But let me go ahead and get my stuff together. So as soon as I finish this, I'm going to go get me a fire extinguisher and we got gas and I got to wire a USB, a USB. Boom. Got to wire this to the dump because uh, my phone died. Oh, that going to be going crazy, boy. All this stuff that's going on. Brutality, all these random stops, all these people dying. Pray to it, pray, pray for everybody, man. But some after to my phone, boy, she's gonna be going crazy. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I got some juice at all times. But uh, let me go ahead and finish making this. SES, man, I'll cut y'all on once I get my fire extinguisher. I'm out.